for you. Six letters in English, but we want to look at the Hebrew letter Lamed, just one letter in the book of Numbers. And so when that letter L, Lamed, is prefixed to the personal pronoun you, this is a preposition to you, for you, a gift that becomes yours for your advantage. In the book of Numbers in particular, we want to see the peace of God for you with his word of promise when his name is placed upon his people. We want to see the assurance of God's word that he is a God for you, for the people of God who have his voice and can rejoice in it. And in particular, we also want to see in Numbers chapter 21, a bronze serpent for you. Now, going back to Numbers chapter 6, this is where the tabernacle is in place. The Israelites are wandering in the wilderness, and they're not sure, is God with us? Is God for us? Well, you are certain and sure when you gather at the promised place of his presence, at that tabernacle, where Aaron and his sons there serve as high priests, that they are giving to you the gift and the benefit of the sacrifices for you, so you can be certain and sure you have pardon and peace with God. Well, Aaron speaks the word of the benediction, placing the name of God upon the people of God so that they would know that God is for them. Yahweh bless you and keep you. La Yahweh's face shine upon you and be gracious to you that Yahweh would lift up his face and give peace. Peace for you. This is where that Laman is attached to the personal pronoun. This is peace to you. Peace for you, so that you can be certain and sure in your conscience that you have peace with God, not by what you have done, but by what he has done to come to you, to assure you that now for his sake, for his promises, all fulfilled in Jesus, you have peace with him for you. Well, as they are wandering in the wilderness, they're constantly wondering, is God with us or not? Is he against us? Is he for us? Well, God assures them in chapter 15 again with that promise that I am Yahweh your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. I am God for you. Again, we have that Lamed preposition attached to the personal pronoun you. This is a God who is for you, not against you. So you continue to gather at his promised presence at the tabernacle and to be assured. But yet you get to Numbers chapter 21, and the people of God start to grumble and complain about Moses and this word. They become bored with this word. They want a different word. They want to go back to the land of Egypt. So they grumble against Moses. This is where Yahweh sends the fiery serpents. Well, now, if the fiery serpents with the poison and the venom bite the people of God and they die, is this God for us? Is this a God for you? Well, they plead to Moses, who is acting as a mediator between God's wrath and their sin that separates them from life. And Moses is given this word from God, make a bronze serpent for you. For the benefit of Moses, for the benefit of the people, that when they see this bronze serpent, this visible, physical item attached with God's promise, that they know even though they are bitten, they shall look and live because of the promise for you. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.